Uh, hi everyone and welcome back to uh, this uh, set of uh, questions about electrical A6 uh, PAO exam power uh, systems and uh, machines and I managed to get some questions after 2019 so I'll be sharing them one uh, by one so this is a very common question that appears in many exams after 2019, including May 2021, 2022, December 21, and other dates as well. Okay, this is a very basic question, and it always was a question number one. But before I answer this question, I'd like to make a very important note here. I'm doing or solving questions about uh, BEO exams uh, since 20 years ago. And you see that the, the, the trend of the questions are different. It's based on the examiner. So every few years, there is one examiner that putting those questions. So you will see the similarity between the questions. Then all of a sudden, the questions completely changed. So my advice is that do not study only for as bare specific questions but try to ex expand your horizon, trying to get exposed to different ideas. So that if the exam is changed and no one knows when it will, it will be changing, you are, you are ready for that. So let's see this, uh, this question. Uh, this question is about three phase power or power in general, because even it didn't specify that it's the three phase, but you can understand that because we have a synchronous uh, motor then basically it is a three-phase uh, system so here we have a factory that draws 0.6 power factory lagging load of 1500 kilowatt from a uh, utility so this is let's say this is a three-phase system here and we have here the factory and this factory is basically using 1500 kilowatt and the power factor is 0.6 lagging so the factor is connected to this uh, three-phase line that we don't even know the voltage, the line-to-line -line voltage, because it's not easy in this question. And it says here a synchronous condenser, which is a synchronous uh, motor, is purchased to raise the power factor to 0.85 uh, lagging. So we will have here also a motor that is also connected at certain times to the to the same system so this is the synchronous motor or condenser and basically it draw it is using 275 kilowatt and basically the final the total power factor of the system after adding the motor becomes 0.85 lagging so we don't know the power factor for that specific motors Okay, now the key point here is to use the power triangle. The whole question will be solved using the power triangle, where we have here S, the apparent power, P, Q, and theta, which is the power factor angle. I will keep a link uh, in the uh, video description about more uh, analysis or more insight about the power factor triangle, so you can refer to it, but that is basically relating the apparent power, the real power, and the reactive power. Okay, part A, it says, what is the original KVA drawn from the utility? When you say the word original, it means that before adding the synchronous condenser, okay? So when the system was working with only the, uh, the 1500 kilowatt at 0.6 uh, power factor lagging, so you wanted to find basically S. And from the power triangle, cosine theta is P over S, or the power factor is P over S, so your S is equal to P divided by the power factor, as simple as that, which is 1500 kilowatt divided by 0.6, and this will give me 2500 kVA. This is the first part. The second part, the original kVAR, so what is the Q consumption? Again, we know P, we know S, this is a right triangle. So your Q is equal to S squared minus P squared. So this is equal to S squared 2500 squared 
minus p square which is 1500 square and this will give me 2000 kvar so that is your original kvar number c or part c what is the power drawn from the utility with the installation of the synchronous condenser now when we add the synchronous condenser what is the total p we know the power coming from the factory we know the power coming from the synchronous uh, condenser so the p total will be equal to the 1500 plus the 275 and this will give me 1775 kilo watt part d the final kva drawn from the utility so i know the total p i know the total power factor so your s total after adding the synchronous condenser is equal to the total power 775 kilo what divided by the 0.85 the new power factor which is 2088 kva finally the kva rating of the synchronous condenser what is the kva we only know p from the synchronous condenser we don't know the power factor for that okay so how to find this first you need to find q total after adding the condenser the q for both the factory and the synchronous condenser when you add them together which is equal to the total the st square minus the pt square so this will give me 2088 square minus 1775 square 775 square and this will give me 1100 kvar so that is the new kvar after adding the condenser now here is something very important the power factor was 0.6 lagging and it adds or increase to 0 0.6 0 0.85 lagging it means that the synchronous motor has to have a leading power factor okay it cannot be another lagging power factor okay to improve the power factor from certain level to a higher level in the lagging then you have to add a leading power factor and this is one of the advantages of the synchronous motor it can work at a lagging power factor and at a leading power factor so it means here let me change the color here to show you something so it means that the q for the motor is in the negative this is the q of the motor this is the Q before. Now, when you subtract these two together, you get the, the new Q total. So this is the Q originally. This is how much Q added. So the Q of the synchronous motor is equal to the new one, 1,100, minus the 2,000, the original Q, which will give me 900 kvar this is how much q is coming from basically your your synchronous motor and it is basically minus because it provides as actually q okay so your s of the synchronous motor equal to the p square of the motor which is the 275 square plus the minus 900 square and this will give me 941.1 kva so that is the total s of your synchronous uh, motor as you can see a very straightforward question it is always the first question in all of these exams i mentioned before so that's just review the basic fundamental of the power uh, triangle and the power relationship